Right, so today I'm back in the Peak District National Park, uh, but a slightly different place to where I normally go. So I'm on the southern part of the Peak District and I'm in the Staffordshire area. And I'm in a place called the Roaches. Now this is a place that I've never uh, explored before, never visited, so uh, this is the first time for me. And it's always really exciting when you try and explore a new place because you don't really know what you're going to expect. However, uh, I spoke to a couple of friends that uh, are local to the area and they've given me some ideas on uh, compositions and locations to go, where to camp for the night and everything. Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit of an explore around and see what I can find and also try and find the compositions that have been recommended to me as well. Uh, and it's a gorgeous evening this evening, so I think we're going to be in for a really good sunset and tomorrow is forecast as a going to be a good sunrise as well so uh, looking forward to seeing what that brings uh, there's still a little bit of heather around dotted around in places um, it's still in color just about but it's just starting to fade i think it was at its best about two weeks ago when i last visited uh, which i really wish i got, got some pictures then but uh, never mind uh, but it's still something that we can work with, uh, especially when the uh, light gets a little bit better and a little bit more orange, it might just bring out those colours a little bit. So uh, I'll see if I can try and work some of that into my pictures uh, today, uh, but um, there's plenty of things to be photographing around here, so uh, I'm definitely spoiled for choice with uh, regards to compositions and images and everything. So. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to this trip. Uh, so my plan is to do some photography up here for sunset. Uh, wild camp just up at Doxy's Pool, just up the way there. And then again, be up for sunrise and photograph sunrise with a bit of luck. So uh, I'm going to carry on exploring and seeing what I can find see if we can find some really nice images and uh, I'll check back in you with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've managed to have a little bit of a look around and explore the roaches a little bit better now. And I've come up with a couple of uh, compositions. So I've got one sorted out for sunrise in the morning. And I've also got this one here for sunset this evening. So just in front of me, um, I've got this really lovely piece of heather. And I'm using that as a little bit of uh, foreground interest. So I've got that set in my bottom left hand third. And then just beyond that, Again, in the left-hand third, we've got this really lovely uh, rock just, just sticking out of the ground. Um, so that's giving us a really good bit of ground interest. And then beyond that, uh, to the right of that, we've got the rest of those, uh, rest of the edge and those rocks there. And that's gonna give us some really good background interest. So at the minute, the sun's just sitting behind those clouds at the moment. So I'm hoping when that sun drops below those clouds then it's just going to light this whole scene up and give us some really lovely side light. Uh, now with this image as well I'm going to probably focus stack this so I'm going to focus on the uh, heather in the foreground then I'll focus on the mid ground on those rocks there and then I'll also focus on those background rocks and then that's just going to give us a really lovely sharp image and then I'll blend all of those images together in Photoshop. Uh, also what's going to work with this image as well I think is if I just have that piece of heather in focus as well so then that's going to isolate that 
piece of heather and make it stand out and pop a little bit more so you don't lose it in that image. So I'm going to put both of them up and if you guys can tell me which one your favourite is uh, out of the two and which one you think works better, uh, pop a comment in the comment box below on that one. Right, so I'm just going to wait and see what this sun does and then I'm then going to head up to Dox's pool where I'm going to set up my tent, cook myself some dinner and have a beer or two and then I'm going to get some well-deserved sleep and then I shall be up bright and early to see you guys in the morning for sunrise. Now this morning I'm joined by Andrew, which some of you may know from See Through My Lens, that's morning. his YouTube channel. Okay guys, so this light's starting to come up really nicely now and it's just catching on these rocks just perfectly. Um, so I decided to come over to the left and change the composition around a little bit. 